This is Susan it. So if this is part of my story, not that, but that's Matthew. Isn't he sweet? Well, hold on now. Oh, I, I took it back. All right. I have Boomer. But I, okay, so Boomer. I saw that one, two, three, four. Okay, that's my little story. So I'll just, can I just put this here? You can, you can put it on top if you want. It's, it's, it's kind of a ratty cover. It's not taped. It's not taped. All right. All right. Ah, yeah, we're ready. Um, you're Kristen Anderson from Royal Albert. Okay. Is that it? I get, yeah, for you are, purposes of this. You represent uh, Royal Albert. And I'm going to say, okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. And then you do a timing. Is there a clock or you're no? There's in no my clock. Ear? It's internal, Tell Kristen. Me. Just just whenever you want to wrap it up. No. <laughs> um, they'll say two minutes, one minute. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna go by real fast. Good. Okay. Uh, but basically, I'm gonna say, tell me about the cookie jar. Is it a cookie jar? It's a biscuit jar. Like I said, tell me about the biscuit jar. All right. Five, four, three. You. Welcome back to Shop HQ, everyone. I'm Skip Conley, and this is my new best friend, Kristen Anderson. How you doing? <laughs> Good, Skip. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, nice to see she you. She is too. representing Royal Albert today, and uh, Royal Albert, of course, we've had here for a long, long time. Very popular line, but you brought us the biscuit jar today. The biscuit jar. Tell I me did. about it. Oh, I love this biscuit jar. You know, some of you may uh, already. Some of you may have already uh, be collecting the dinnerware. This uh, Old Country Roses pattern is one of the most popular patterns in the world in terms of dinnerware. Now we have this biscuit uh, jar to offer you. I love it. I love it. Let's start Put here. Put down for a second. I want to. I want to just twirl it around on this lazy Susan, if you don't mind. And we, it's, it's, so it's shiny. It's got so many sh uh, different uh, angles to it too. Yes. This would be a hexagonal. Lovely. Thank you. Are you good at crosswords? No. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about this. Okay. Well, as you can see here, we have it trimmed in hexagonally. I was going to say circled in, yeah. in 22 karat gold, which is lovely. And we have another little bit of a gold accent right here, mm -hmm. which I think is uh, lovely as well. Also, you can see right here, there's a seal. So you can actually put something in here, and it won't get stale. So it's functional. Right? Okay. Uh, the English would have been putting... You know, there are little butter cookies in there. Mm -hmm. I put my dog biscuits in here. That is a good idea. Right? Yes. What's your dog's name? Matthew. Matthew. And so keep some fresh because keep you have fresh. that seal. And the other dog, I, so here's the thing. This little, it doesn't make much of a sound, but they can hear that mm -hmm. wherever they are in the house. They have great hearing. Yes, they do. Yes, so do it's I. It's a sound I only dogs it. can hear. Oh, and, <laughs> yeah. and skip. Oh, biscuit? Right? Yeah. Okay. okay. But that's the traditional biscuit jar. They would put right. little sugar cookies or little butter cookies in here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and then for a collector, you will enjoy uh, that this is signed by Michael Dalton. Mm -hmm. So that is special. And Michael Dalton is the great-great-grandson of the founder of this company, so it's pretty special, and he travels the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's been here many times. Yes. So now you have a photo. I do. And I'm very interested to see I am what is your share photo, this photo all about. Uh, first Point thing there we I'm going to say is that our biscuit jar isn't in the photo. Okay. The photo is of my mother-in-law, and here's what I want people to do with the biscuit jar. I want you to do anything you want with a biscuit jar, except put it back in your china cabinet, mm -hmm. where no one's going to see it, and you're not going to use it. Mm -hmm. I like to use it. I like it to be seen. I like to change it around a little bit. I mm -hmm. like to be eclectic. Mm -hmm. I don't think there is a normal anymore. I think traditional is off the charts. It's mm -hmm. completely different than it used to be. I went to my mother-in-law's in West Virginia this summer, and my daughter and I, for her birthday, as a tradition, uh, that we do at our house, is we bring breakfast in bed. So mm -hmm. for her birthday, we dug into her china cabinet yeah. and we found all of these very old items, the tray, all the dishes, yeah. and brought it up to her. And she said, uh, "Wow, well, I have never, never. <laughs> had breakfast in bed." Yeah, which is wrong if you're in your 80s and <laughs> no one has ever brought you breakfast in bed. 
I also have never had anything to drink out of this glass before. Wow. I said, why is that, yeah. Janet? Well, it was my mother's. That's right. And I wouldn't and want it to break. she's never used it. What are you waiting? You've got to use right? this. And yeah. we do the yeah. same thing in our family. My, my wife had uh, some Royal Albert handed down from her mom, mm -hmm. and it's in a china cabinet. We never see no. it, we never use it, and we should. We should use exactly. it. Exactly. Yes. And the same with this, too. The finest bone china, of course, Royal Albert's been mm -hmm. a, a mainstay for how many centuries now? How many years? 1800s. 1800s. It's been around for a long time. One of the most popular, again, one of the most popular patterns anywhere. Is and that this. is called, which pattern is this? Uh, this is Old Country Roses. Right. So quintessentially English, yeah. just lovely. And this is what, again, this you've seen this before. We've had mm -hmm. it in the other pieces here. But this is going to all maybe tie it together on a dinner table. This could be your dessert serving piece. You can bring out your cookies in this if you wanted to, or put your biscuits in here, or your doggy biscuits. And you know what else, Skip? One more thing I'd, I'd like to add is that if you're a collector, again, it's lovely because it's signed by Michael Dalton. Mm -hmm. Additionally, uh, if you're not a collector, maybe this is your first piece. What a great piece to start with. Yes. What exactly. a wonderful piece to start with because it just evokes all those memories of grandmother's Thanksgiving dinner table. Oh, sure. Right? Sure, it takes you back. And all the holidays, setting a beautiful table. Yeah. Whatever happened mm -hmm. to all that good food? It's just not the same. I know. You know? I have to Google it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. If you don't know, you have to Google it. Thank <laughs> you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Stay online for the biscuit jar. Thank you, Kristen Anderson. Thank you. You're the Skip. best. All right, we'll be right back. You're a hoot. How'd we do? I, not too funny. Oh, Sarah's we sold like, 100. No. Sarah's like, don't be too funny. Yeah. You're not there. No, yet. I get it. But you need you need to have a little humor in mm -hmm. these two. It really helps. You can't be really just non-humorous. Yeah. 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 So are, are you? 